I'm Jim. And these are our dogs, Apollo and Heidi. And we travel with them all through the U.S. And we love sharing our dog-friendly adventures on our YouTube channel, Modern Canine Vlog. And I wanted to say thank you to Big Truck, Big RV for this opportunity for this collaboration. So this summer we are exploring on the Oregon coast. And right now we are in an RV park here just uh, south of Astoria across from Fort Stevens. This is the Astoria Warrington Seaside KOA and it's a beautiful park. This is actually right behind our RV spot. There's a beautiful nature trail here and uh, we've really been enjoying our stay here at the KOA. In this video, we'd like to show you our rig and how we traveled. Whether you're looking for a rustic tent site, a comfy cabin, or an RV site to camp with the family, or in a quiet, shaded RV spot, the Astoria KOA is one of the largest KOA campgrounds in the United States and offers a memorable camping experience for everyone. So we really have a beautiful, green, shady site here at the Astoria Warrington Seaside KOA. We travel in our 30-foot Montana fifth wheel and tow with a Ford F-350. The truck is a single wheel short bed with a 355 rear end, four wheel drive and a 6.7 liter turbo diesel. With 400 horsepower, 800 foot pounds of torque and engine brakes, it's a great tow vehicle. It can tow a fifth wheel up to 22,000 pounds and has a gross vehicle weight rating of 11,500 pounds. We have a Husky hitch in the truck bed and an airborne sidewinder on the fifth wheel. It's a great setup for the short bed and it gives us the ability to turn up to 90 degrees. Our home on the road is a 2004 Keystone Montana 2955RL. It has an arctic package that offers great insulation. It's 30 feet and at 16 years of age this fifth wheel is still in excellent condition. It has a GVWR of 12,140 pounds. We have two slides and a pass-through storage underneath. We love the 5500 watt Onan onboard propane generator. But here's my favorite upgrade. We just added two 100 watt solar panels and a 2000 watt inverter, allowing us to run everything but the AC and the microwave when we're boondocking. So let me show you the inside of the RV. So again, this is just a 30 foot fifth wheel it's a 2004 and we actually kind of did a little bit of rearranging of furniture we actually took out the couch there's just Jim and I and we usually just sit in the lounge chair so we just kept those two easy chairs in here and then we went ahead and created a workspace in uh, the back of the fifth wheel with a small corner desk we both have our laptops below and then we're able to sit here and work on creating our YouTube channel videos and doing other things online. Um, one thing that we love about the fifth wheel is that it does have quite a bit of storage. In fact, I don't think I've ever been able to like fill up everything. Now this is an older fifth wheel. Originally there was uh, one of those old style TVs in here. We did have a friend create um, a mount for a flat screen TV. And now the back side of that is actually additional storage for Jim for all of his computer stuff. We also did put in a second refrigerator right here next to the dinette set. And that's because oftentimes I find that we don't have enough room. We only have a single door refrigerator in this unit. So this way we can purchase a lot more food. And I like to, you know, have some fresh food in the house. So it's kind of nice to have that second refrigerator. Lots of overhead cabinet space. I do love the, 
the kitchen plenty of counter space as you can see and we do have a convection oven in here and you might have seen earlier on top of the second fridge here I actually have an air fryer which I use quite a bit and of course a stove top it's a propane three burner and it does have a oven as well which we very rarely use but I do like all of the uh, the space to put all kinds of things there's a lazy Susan actually in the uh, this cabinet here which is very nice to store all kinds of stuff one of the things that we did that I would definitely do again in another fifth wheel is we put in an RO system so that we always have fresh drinking water when we're plugged in with the fifth wheel we do have the queen bed and one thing that I love about this particular model which I'm hoping I'll be able to find in another model is that split bathroom I really like having the shower here and the the little vanity right here to the side and then the potty room is separate and I like too that this is a pretty good size so it's not really really cramped Jim is six foot two and so it's kind of nice to have some extra room the other thing is that the shower in the corner shower here I think just gives you a lot more room and again lots of headroom for Jim being able to stand up but you have a skylight in here and being that it is a corner shower gives a lot of room to be able to actually you know move around in the shower lots of uh, space to have additional um, stuff actually on top of the counters which I oftentimes tend not to use but as you can see there's a little bit of room here on top of the cabinets and you know I could see putting extra things up there maybe books we do have quite a bit of drawer space four drawers here and then really a lot of space in these corner cabinets and this is also where we have access to uh, being able to start the generator from inside not sure that that will actually show up there are some privacy doors in here which we actually never use one of the upgrades that we did is we changed out the lighting over the bed into LED lights and they actually have USB charging stations on the little foots of those and we really have found that we use that quite a bit so what's next on our agenda well we still got plenty of exploring to do here on the west coast until the end of the summer and then it's back to arizona for the winter so be sure to come over to our youtube channel modern canine blog and check out our dog friendly adventures uh, we just want to thank big truck <laughs> big rv for the opportunity to collaborate on this video Yes. What? She said. <laughs> what? Well, thank you, Big Truck, Big RV. We've had fun making this video. The truck finally got washed. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, until next time. Keep your paws on the road. <laughs> you look at the oh, look at the camera. I knew that. Okay. Good. Thank you.